How's it going everyone? My name is Ron, my name is Rose Guy, and welcome to my new TCG decklist video. Today we'll be talking about a Keldeo V deck. I like Keldeo V more than Lapras V Max because it's a two pricer, it's a basic, it has lesser treat cost, and it is basically the same, it just it's it's only 40 damage shorter than the other. Plus it uh, has 210 HP, which is actually alright. It's like a, it's like a stage one GX Pokemon. So yeah, I, I can deal with that, it's alright. Uh, and it also has a okay wave splash stack, which can be useful uh, against things like uh, Mad Party or just to weaken out Pokemon. 40 damage is a lot of difference if you need to kill something with Sacred Sword. Um, and yeah, it has also a nice amount of partners like Frostmoth, like Fion, like Lapras, and like uh, Keldeo GX. This Keldeo GX is used to block GX or EX Pokemon's attacks. Uh, we, we will mainly see GX because EX is not in standard anymore, but alright. Uh, and then a Lapras, um, it's a nice card to use as a, as a different attacker, because it only costs you one price, which would mean that they still need to kill all two Vs and another one prize, or three Vs. Um, so yeah, it's no it's no big deal if this one dies, because giving out one prize is not that big of a deal if you want to use two prize cards. Um, and it's also really nice against things like Decidueye, because you can knock out things with this. Uh, you can take two hits from Decidueye as well. So yeah, that's uh, mainly the reason why it's in it. Only two copies, because that's enough. Uh, and then we have a, tr a three, two line of Frostmoth. This will be our main attacher, of course. Um, you can get energies in your hand with Capacious Bucket, with Energy Retrieval, with Training Cords. Um, yeah, there's, there are enough ways to get energies in your hand. Uh, and then we also run one Fion. Uh, I've seen a lot of moments where I can use Fion to my advantage to win a game. It's also really nice to uh, slow down your opponents because then they have to switch out again and again and again. And yeah, that can drain that switches as well and the bosses. Um, okay, yeah. And then we run so 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 we run <laughs> for Capacious Bucket, two Energy Retrieval. 3 Evolution Incense, 4 Quick Ball, 3 Switches, 2 Training Cords, and uh, those were the, the items in Stadium. Uh, and then we have uh, some variety of trainers, so we use 1 Bird Keeper, 1 Boss's Order, 1 Brock's Grit, 4 Marnie, and 2 Professor's Research. Those, those are the trainers. And then we have 4 Air Balloon, 4 Air Balloon, yeah. Because switching out retreating is necessary if you want to charge up a Keldeo V. You need to switch it, then get uh, an air balloon on one of those Pokemon, well, except for Lapras. And then you can free retreat it again into Keldeo V. Because Frostmoth only attaches to Pokemon on the bench. Um, but yeah, it's no big deal if you can't, and then you just charge a new one on the bench. Alright? And then in total, 15 water energies. 15 is a really good number, because you'll be, be using a lot of them. Uh, yeah. If you can't get them back from the discard pile. I found that Training Core is just such a useful card in this deck. You, If you get one energy each turn out of the discard pile, eventually you will, you will be having all your energies back in play. After one of your Keldeo died. You also have an uh, energy retrieval to get an extra two uh, energies in your deck. Uh, and into your hand as well. So yeah, that's really nice. Um, and that's it actually. So this is the decklist. I uh, enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, have fun with the gameplay. Cheers. Alrighty. Damn, that's a nice coin. Solgaleo is just a really cool Pokemon to be honest. Okay, so it's a pretty okay start to be honest. We have a main attacker, a backup attacker and a snowman support already. Just in our first hand. And if we get Storm in play, we can completely charge the Keldeo, switch it into that Keldeo. Yeah, yeah. It's good, it's good. Imagine if we top deck a, a, a Frostmoth next turn. I mean, in turn after our, our turn this, this round. Alright, so, Snom, 
and Keldeo. Go, go, Nats. Go, go. Ooh, very interesting. So I see an Ekans. I see a Ponyta. Galarian. I see a yeah, Teddy. Okay, <laughs> and I see Q-Flip. And I also see Forest Seed. What is this deck? <laughs> I'm very curious. Probably one of the first decks he has ever made. Which I like. I like that a lot. So since this, since this is our first turn, we would just use one capacious bucket, get some energies out, and uh, get a 40 damage. And next turn, if we don't have it yet, then we will just use Marnie. We didn't need to use Marnie at that point, so... Because even if we got the Frost Moth next to this turn, it wouldn't do much. I'm curious as to what it will do. Like, will it even do anything? And now we'll use this uh, to give him some cards as well, actually. Okay, so we can use this in our advantage. Go Crobat. Okay, that's good. So we get three cards. Okay, okay. So we're going places, but yeah. What I will do is next turn is yeah, if I don't top deck anything good, I will just use the Bird Keeper. So retreat it and then use Bird Keeper again. Or we can use Boss Sword to knock out Qfint. Okay, yeah, we still can. Knock out Q fan before it becomes a big boy. Okay, the fact that this guy uses an energy surge means that yeah, he's pretty new to the game and he uses some cards that he has the evolution line of. An old PC, go go go. Aww. That's sad. Uh, Alright. So he can use the stomp now. Oh okay, yeah, we top decked it. This is great, this is great. So what I'm gonna do is use, use that. Use that. Can it get energies in play? And then attach them all to this guy. Let's be careful actually, because we don't want anything stupid to happen. Oh. So we get two energies back and charge the new one. Good, and I I don't want to like kill the four C. Please go with that. Yeah, okay, I don't think he suspect, suspects this amount of damage, but... And as, he, now he's probably gonna concede because he didn't expect or something. That was just a, a new player's move. Yeah. So sad. I hope he plays on and plays the game more. So he uses this one. During your opponent's, your both Pokemon, during your next turn, this Pokemon does attack 200 damage more to your opponent's active Pokemon. Nah, no, that's good. That's very good. Perhaps I need to deck a bit like this. Golurk. Yeah, that's also a very nice card. But he uses one one line. And a 2 1 line of this this card, and a 1 1 line of Ferret Horn, 1 sc uh, Skummery, 1 1 line of this, just an Ekans, a Salandit, and a 1 1 line of Gumshoes, and then just 2 Ponytas, 1 in DDV, and 1 Q Fent. Okay, wow. Oh, Mrs. Favor, full art. Oh, this dude has lucky. I love this card, man. Okay, I see what this deck is. This is basically built by a wizard. 
by a new player. Which is alright. Alright. Let's crack on this. So. It's a nice uh, ETB champion pa uh, champion's path box. Like it. The trainer box. So we start off with that Fion. And an air balloon. So we can retreat it back into whatever we pull from our quick ball. Which will probably be a crowbat. Something like that. Gosh, I should have placed the crowbat with a Dadene or something. The reason, my only reason for actually. Oh, God damn. Okay, um. We can't just be like, oh yeah. Since it's a fire card, we will just get a kill DOV, and I saw that the crowbat is not in the play. So let's retreat this into there. Okay, now wait. Oh, we, are, we can already do 80 damage with that wave splash. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna attach one energy there with my hand and then use a money to get more cards. Use the switch, okay, so he's gonna use that Volcanion. So that charge is gonna be completely charged up. Which is alright, that's good. That's good. Bad news for us though, but... We can't kill this dude as well. We'll just do 80 damage. Which will do nothing at the end of the game. So that's 80 damage. And just one more and he has 220. That's just a big change in uh, demand. Okay, um, so I attach this one. I th actually, I'm gonna use a few into yeah, switch it out. So use that money to store destroy his hand. It's a bit of a little bit smaller then. Okay, we got a snom and two Kelly OV, so we got our backup already. Okay, good. And we'll whirlpool this dude's Charizard in front of us. There. I should have, I shouldn't have, like, <laughs> attached two energies on this dude. Should have just waited, you know. <laughs> oh well. So there's a welder. I suppose he's gonna evolve as well, which would not be needed, but okay. So attack, discard two energies from this Pokemon. So I just go for the KO there, I think. Yeah. Okay, goes to Crobat for two cards, which is not worth it to be honest. I really, really want that. All right, show off your your power, man. Show off that power. Now all I need to do is just knock out this dude. So, oh god, okay. Oof. Jesus. I can't do much at this point. So he'll, we'll just have to take it out with 80-80. And another, and so I need another two 80s. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so sad. No, we actually need another three 80s. Pretty much stuck at this position. Hmm. We should not be losing from this dude, but we still do. We really can't do much at this point. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for that Brock's grit. We really, really need it. Psst. Jesus Christ, man, this is depressing. Oh, 
And that's just the conceit, to be honest. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. Just... So, lads, this was the short video on Goldio V. Um, not much to talk about, actually. It's uh, the same card as in a Lapras V Max. Uh, so, you basically could have just put this in a Lapras V Max deck. Um, and you can also just change a lot of this deck because it does it does have its downsides. The damage out output is not enough most of the times, especially with V Maxes. If it just is a V cards, then it's alright. Then you can get knockouts. It's no big deal. But when V Maxes are there, there, you can't get a one hit. Um, you also need two. You always need two. So yeah, that's the downfall of this card. Um, so not the best deck. I I I do say that it's not the best. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, and and who, for someone who likes uh, Kill the OV, yeah, they will definitely enjoy this. It's a it's a cool card. It's a fun card. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more decks. Um, I think tomorrow I will be uploading a Cop Rush of Vmax deck. I I yesterday I beat like two Eternatus and one ADP and two Decidue. So yeah, um, stay tuned for that. And yeah, have a good day for the lads and cheers.